We're live in the Wamba studio at ArabNet with Jalil Alabadi of Al Tibbi, uh, which is an Arabic medical portal. Jalil, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm having a great time here at ArabNet. Excellent. You enjoying it? Very much so. Good. So tell us what it describes. We've written about you on Wamda, but just describe again to our viewers what is Al Tibbi? Uh, well, Al Tibbi.com is the largest medical content, Arabic medical content online. So it's a portal that contains all information about all diseases, symptoms, cures, anything related to health and medicine. And we provide that to the common person, to the average Arab that can't read um, in English, wants to know more about his or her health, and uh, need to communicate better with the doctor. Because as you know, doctors here are trained in English or French, and they, they, there's a gap in communication between them and the patient, and the patient. So we provide this tool to help Arabs know and learn about their health. And so far, we have, we, I mean, so far, we are now the largest medical content provider with more than 1.2 million pages indexed on Google. That's nuts. Um, how did you start al um, The idea started uh, by actually by my father. He, he is a medical doctor and he uh, devoted much of his life for the refugees, refugee camps and helping them. And um, he had this uh, passion about educating the people, about empowering them to take care of their own health. And that's why he wrote the first ever medical, Arabic, 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 English medical dictionary. And uh, while I was doing my MBA, he would, he would uh, ask for uh, our help, me and my cousin, who is an internet uh, entrepreneur, he asked for our help to market this book and spread the word about it. And that's when we actually thought of building a website to promote it. And uh, we had a business plan uh, course at that time at school, and uh, we we ended up doing a research about the market, about uh, the potential of such an idea, and uh, we found out it could be huge if we get out of the dictionary format and provide a platform, a, a whole complete portal, health portal in Arabic. And talk to me about, you know, how do you disseminate that information today? Is it just tutorials? Is it just, you know, still a dictionary but digitized? What's the format? Well, it is, of course, the core product is a digitized dictionary, but the dictionary is now complete with full explanations about any health topic. So it's not um, a, a simple dictionary anymore. It's more of it's a whole encyclopedia, a medical encyclopedia in Arabic. We disseminate this information through this encyclopedia. We get uh, doctors to contribute with us writing articles. We we have pictures, medical images, and we have medical videos. We have the largest uh, YouTube uh, health channel in Arabic. So we just try to disseminate our information through many mediums, through many ways. Also, so we have an Android and an iPhone application. So we try to be wherever the patient would need us. Very cool. And um, what are the demographics of your users? I mean, you launched in Jordan. Um, are you looking to actively expand into certain areas of the Middle East, or are you sort of, you know, already regional? Being an Arabic language and online um, provide, provides us with an instant reach to all Arab speakers. So even if we launched initially in Jordan, most of our traffic comes from outside of Jordan. Actually, only 8% come from Jordan, 30% come from Saudi Arabia, 25% come from Egypt, and, and so on. So Jordan, we have already expanded out of Jordan in terms of reach and traffic, uh, but we want to expand more on the doctor side, because until now, we have doctors contributing to, uh, with us from Jordan, Egypt, and some from Saudi, but we want to expand our reach to the doctors to help us disseminate more information to the people. Does that take an on-the-ground presence, or does it take partnering with um, local companies trying to do something similar? Uh, we believe in both. We have to, uh, to be on the ground. Doctors don't access internet. They read little. 
So we have to be there, knock on the doors, talk to them, explain what we do to them, and educate them about the internet and what we can add to them and to the patient. At the same time, there are no, um, no existing companies that do the same job that we do in, uh, locally. We try to partner with governments, with other entities, but there are no companies, private companies, that work with the doctors but the pharma companies. So we don't, we don't want to be completely with them. Right. Basically. But so what's next for you? Where, where do you see uh, to be expanding in the next year? Uh, we have a lot to go. We haven't even started yet, but uh, what the next phase that we see is that we want to go beyond providing the simple content to the people. We want to interact with the people. We, have, we want to add a social aspect to, to LTB.com. We want the patient to be able to select the content he wants to follow, the content he's interested in, and uh, making him enabling him to communicate with other patients like him or with with doctors and that's our focus for the near future I mm. see and have you uh, seen anything at Arabnet that might help you do that or anyone you you know might look to to partner with or a lot actually I've, um, you know yesterday on the industry day there there was a health track and uh, there were many um, great speakers in the healthcare industry uh, among which were uh, healthcare professionals, CEOs of hospitals in Lebanon and the region. So I had the chance to interact with them and, uh, and hear what they have to say about this. Many people were, were complaining about the lack of content, so it was great for us because it means that people need service like LTB.com. Many others were complaining about the lack of communication tools between doctors and patients. And this is exactly where we're heading to. So is this just a confirmation of the product that you've built? It's a confirmation um, of where we're heading to. It's a confirmation of our strategy. It's, it means that all the research we've been through for the past two years and the um, surveys we've had with our members, they have all, they're all converging on the same path, and which is that people need to need more content in a more social way. And this is exactly how we envisioned it. Cool. Thanks for chatting with Mom Digital. Thank you very much, Naina.